30.6 John here, and today what we're going to be talking about is the great uh, cartridge, very useful cartridge, the 338 Winchester Magnum, and what happened to it. It seems like here over the last five years, it just sort of disappeared. Can't find ammo for it, can't buy guns for it. So keep on watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. In the Nosler number 9 reloading manual, the forward for the 338 Winchester Magnum is written by registered Alaskan bear guide Tia Shoemaker. She's daughter of famed Alaska bear guide Phil Shoemaker. In it, she talks about how popular the 338 Winchester Magnum is for Alaska. And it seemed like everyone was using it. Uh, since she is a bear guide, she did upgrade to a regular stopping rifle. But she still likes to use the 338 Winchester Magnum for uh, hunting. In the Hornady Reloading Guide, they talk about how the 338 Winchester Magnum is um, powerful and flat shooting enough for anything on North American continent. And it's sort of popular for uh, African Plains species as well. One reason why the uh, 338 Win Mag became so popular. Its case length is as long as a 30-06. It can be chambered in the same action. This is a 338 Win Mag loaded round. That's a 7mm Rem Mag. Here's some bullets I use for reloading. My practice bullet is a 200 grain Hornaday interlock. Um, you could use this on deer, but where I hunt, I have a lot of uh, brown bear issues. So usually my hunting bullet will be this 210 grain nozzler partition. Or if I'm in an area where I think there's a lot of brown bears, I'll use this 250 grain nozzler partition. And I'll practice with this uh, 250 grain spire point. Here's some of my reloading notes. I had a spear 200 grain going 2875. I had the um, nozzler 250 grain partition going 2675. And Spear used to make a 275 grain bullet. I had that going 2500. I have two 338 Winchester Magnum rifles, both Rugers. This is an early Ruger Model 77. It has the uh, tang safety. Uh, my dad got this for me after I first moved to Alaska. I've re removed the scope from it, but I've shot a lot of caribou and deer with it. Uh, Got a mountain goat with it. Also, I took this rifle to Africa and I got some uh, plains animals in uh, South Africa with it. This rifle is a Ruger Model 77 also. It's a newer model. It has the uh, three position safety on it. I got this one here because I didn't want my blued rifle to rust. I've gotten a lot of game with this one here. A lot of deer, a lot of caribou. Got a grizzly with it. It's been a good rifle. 338 Win Mags have pretty bad recoil um, as opposed to a, a 375 H&H &H, which is more of a, a push. A 338 Win Mag is more of a sudden jerk. Here's one of the animals I got when I went to Africa. It's a, a blue wildebeest and you can see the spot where I shot it right there. Here's my grizzly that I shot with my uh, 338. Uh, this is an interior grizzly, not a brown bear. I was able to stock up within about, I don't know, it was close, 25, less than 50 yards of it. It was just eating blueberries. I had a nice broadside shot. I shot it with, of all bullets, a, a 250 grain Remington Corlock factory. I shot it right behind the shoulder, uh, right a little bit high in the heart. So it disrupted the heart-lung area there, had a lot of expansion, and I did recover the bullet. It was uh, on the far side of the hide. Here's the paw. Compare my hand to the bear paw. Pretty big claws there. Pretty big claws there. Here's some recovered bullets from game animals. This bullet was recovered from the blue wildebeest I showed you. It's a 210 grain nozzle partition. Could see how the uh, the front half of the lead core is lost but it expanded down to the, the partition right there this one here is what i dug out of the grizzly bear 
Uh, it's actually a 250 grain Remington core lock. I don't have a Remington core lock bullet, but uh, the closest thing I have is this uh, Hornady 250 grain Spire Point. What happened to the 338 Win Mag? Well, it's probably a victim of COVID and ammunition manufacturers are still catching up production. But I've seen multiple people at different gun stores looking for 338 Win Mag ammo, and there's none to be had. When you look at Midway USA, there's none there either. So is the 338 Win Mag going to make a comeback? I don't know. A lot of people are tied up in long range accuracy right now. So they're all into the uh, 6.5 PRC, 300 PRC. Uh, if they want a 338, they go to the 338 Lapua, which actually is a longer action. A lot of people don't like the belt on it. You know, a lot of the Magnums there back in the late 50s, early 60s had a belt on it. A lot of people don't want a belt on their case anymore. There's very few rifles being manufactured in 338 Win Mag anymore. That's all that I have for today, everyone. Hey, thanks for watching. Everyone stay safe and have a nice day.